you could have a day-night cycle so that you... What the? This is Cake Town. I've counted up your wins and losses. It looks like this is your fifth run. Joe, developer of Tower of Guns. This is a point where people could do with a bit of a surprise. Use these gifts to help you have a good fifth run. Okay, cool. Funny. Um. Yeah, and then they needed to start coding like. The ability to like get pregnant and then pee so that a pregnant woman could pee on wheat and it would reveal if she was pregnant or not because that was a real old timey way to detect pregnancies and it has like a 70% accuracy I think which granted isn't that great but it's also wheat it's fucking everywhere you can just do it more than once and so that was how women would identify if they were pregnant they would pee on a sheaf of wheat they would pee on a little uh, a growing wheat But then, you know, I, I imagined a, a game wherein somebody codes in wheat, and then they're like, well, in order to experience the real wheat growing experience, we need day-night cycles, and they need to do that. And then, like, well, if a pregnant woman pees on this wheat, then it should change, so I should reflect that. And then, in all of this, in, in all of doing that, they have destroyed the actual ability to play the game, because, like, now there's this day-night cycle. Thing with like um, Rogue, you know, is the is the game of dying and doing something over and over. So maybe it's like a weird psychological thing where uh, because people are you know playing the game where you die and start over and play the whole game again, people are now just essentially used to. You know, not the exact same game, but play a very, very similar game over and over. There's a lot of, uh, roguelike experiences. Nothing. Yeah, I never published that paper before, because I don't have it. I think they let you publish stuff online. I think I called the paper No Floor Up Buttons. Yes, I did. I called it no floor up buttons. Because every other game in the world is now standardized to have just hit the use button and you use it, whatever the most relevant use thing is. And, you know, no other game should need you to remember the specific go up or go down button, which are different things. You know, you, you there should be a contextual command in every game. And I don't think, you know, Rogue is a genre anything by having a specific button that you can hit and it'll do something. You know, like when I was first learning Rogue, I was like, you know, I don't want to say spoiled because I don't think that I sh really should have to do these things, but, you know, in the modern day-to-day -day gaming world, you hit a button to use something and that's the end of the story. You hit a button to use something. But in Rogue, you, you know, you have to remember the button to drink something, which is different than the button to eat something. You can't just go into your inventory and use it. You know, going into your inventory is so you can look at it. Equipping something requires you to remember what you have in your inventory. Drinking something and equipping things and eating things are all different things that you can do. Depending on what roguelike you're playing. Pretty cool. That's why I like having the, um... There's a lot of verticality in this, which I think is, uh, uh, commendable. A lot of very flat games have come out recently. Trying to doom guy up this. Just trying to strafe it. Should be standing still, I know. Damn. Okay. Let's hit the menu. And let's give this a shot. Now we have this. 
Um... Sorry, yeah, I was thinking. Oh, these are the bullets that they're shooting at me. Ah, and they're explosive. Oh, there's a big sword. Let's see. Oh, you can hear you can hear yourself. <laughs> um other game new features can be standardized and then everyone's like yeah just use that but in rogue there's both a, a feature creep where people are like putting in new stuff whether or not it'll make the game better just for the sake of it being there um and then you also have people who are putting in Not necessarily new features, but like the old way to interface, which is just kind of weird. But enough complaining about classic games. Uh, one thing that I will say to this game's <coughs> pardon me, it's been a little bit since I've recorded, so I'm a little lost. One thing that I will say about this game's uh, uh, credit is that been a lot of very flat games recently. Um, you know, the Ubisoft standardization of, you know, have your big ass Ubisoft towers. Have this big gigantic huge open world to explore. You know, especially now that Assassin's Creed keeps going for way older stuff. Assassin's Creed keeps setting itself in older areas, which means that they do not have as much, you know, towers. Like you look at the uh, Assassin's Creed 2 Venice. And, you know, there's a lot of towers to look at and explore and run around on. But you look at, like, you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and it's like, oh, it's set before we could build things taller than two stories. One thing I will say, I have not encountered the same boss twice. health goes up too. This is a very 2010s ass game. Ah. Oh. I'm making a pouty face, sorry. Sorry, my camera's been doing this thing where I Oh, this came out in 2014. Damn. My camera's been doing this thing where I uh uh if the wire connecting it to the lap 
top gets bumped at all, then it'll just completely, like... It'll completely just, you know, freeze in place. And that's annoying to be sure, but what can you do? Are like all of these written like in full? Pardon me. I'm not sure how I feel about the unstable equilibrium thing. Killing these things be enough. And what's more, I have to. Be, okay, this, let's talk about this. In this game, you have to kill things and then pick up their XP to level up. You have to take the key value and D level. It's not enough that I just have to go over and pick up their XP. Because I think that's dumb. I think I should just be able to get. But anytime I'm hit or struck, I will. Also use that XP. Let's try this thread. Kinda hurts my eyes. Like I know that you have a decent size to pick up uh, uh, XP from. Notice this when you shoot, it actually stops you from walking forward a little bit because of the kickback of the gun, it's so heavy. Yeah, not only do you have to pick up, you also actually need to um, then not get hit and hold on to it. I think that's dumb. I should, I feel like it should be one or the other generates so so bad of an unstable equilibrium. Uh, for those who don't know, unstable equilibrium is a video game experiment. Wherein uh, you build a, a rich get richer system. Like if you're really good at tower then you're not getting hit. Which means that you can have the time to run over and, and pick up your XP before it goes away. But if you're not dead, if you're not good at Tower of Guns, then uh, you getting hit will make the game even harder for you. Like, um, one of the best examples I can use is, is Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, if you're really good, you'll get a whole bunch of souls by killing enemies and you won't lose souls from, you know, deaths. You'll be good enough to get those souls back. Um, which means that you can level up and make your character stronger and make the game even easier for you. But if you're bad, then that means that you will die and lose souls, and your character will get progressively weaker because it'll stay at the same level of strength while everything around it is hard. Like, um,
I really feel like this could just have one or the other. I don't feel like uh, uh, having both leveling down and having to pick XP up is necessary. I feel like it's actually cool. Ah, one of these. Put a bunch of enemies above me and then also have me look at the thing on the floor. Whoa, what? Why is this happening? The holes in the fence are not large enough for those guys. I'll take offense to that. It looks like environmental hazards don't hurt me. Uh, don't level me down. They do hurt. They're excruciatingly painful. Okay. Anemone bot. Anemone, um, emo bomb bot. Oh, those guys. Oh, they're asteroids. I see. They also split like amoebas. Amoebomb bot. Okay, it's amoeba. Yeah, they sell divide. They're mitosis. Mitosizing? Time to walk through the middle. Oh, wow. Bounce gun mod. Okay, so you kill one boss and you get a... An item to use. And you kill another, you get a... Weapon. Ah, I see. It'll bounce off of walls. New perk, Fire Force. Need this fan service. In this is an interesting way to build a game, though. I like that. <laughs>